Hello, Boys and Girls Club members and family. This is Mr. Royce checking in. Uh, I hope that everybody is doing well. I uh, just want to make a special quick announcement that every Thursday we are continuing the Club on the Go program. So please make sure to check out bgcaustin.org uh, for different locations around the city where you can pick up free uh, games and snacks, a free bag for uh, all the uh, youth in your household. Uh, I want to do a quick power hour, quick little uh, math refresher. Uh, so if you focus in here, and this won't be long, Mr. Royce is going to go over fraction to decimal conversions. And, um, you know, we try to keep you on your toes with your math and power hour. So I want to make sure to see what I can do for this video. Now, first of all, you have one one hundred. Uh, this is kind of a scary fraction, but this is basically one penny. Uh, so when you're converting this to a decimal, a hundred is like a one dollar. If you put that point right there, that looks just like one dollar. So you're saying what's one of one dollar? And you're saying that basically that's one penny, zero one. So that's the decimal fraction conversion for that. Uh, one twentieth, this is actually the value of a nickel. So this is saying what goes into one dollar twenty times um, a nickel goes into one dollar twenty times zero five five cents okay here you have one tenth uh, you're basically saying hey what goes into a dollar ten times and that's gonna be a dime one fourth what goes into a dollar four times you know it a quarter Okay, what goes into a, a dollar twice? 50 cents. One third is an interesting number. Um, it's a continuing number. Um, it's actually 0.33, but technically this three goes on forever. So that's very interesting. And 0.33 times never really makes it to one. It makes it to 0.99 going on forever. So numbers are fun and interesting. Mr. Royce likes them. One fifth, what goes into one dollar five times 20 cents, guys? 0. 0.20. One eighth is really interesting. Um, it's 0.125, the conversion, and it's just something I you just have to remember. It's kind of hard, but if you think of twelve dollars and fifty cents makes twenty five dollars, twelve dollars and fifty cents twice makes twenty five dollars, and of course, twenty five dollars goes into a hundred four times. That's how I remember that 0.125, but that one eighth, if you remember it, that'll help you on a lot of tests where you uh, will overthink it. If you just remember that one eighth equals 0.125. Uh, a couple other things I'll go over and we'll let you go. Um, square. Uh, this basically means that number times itself. One squared, one times one is one. Two squared, two times two is four. Three squared is three times three and that's nine. Four squared is four times four, and that's 16. Five squared is five times five, and that's 25, guys. You got it. Okay, and the last thing I'll go over is this called pi. Really interesting number. Uh, historically, they say this number is used in so many historic events like uh, the building of the pyramids and other uh, very historic events, but pi is a very important number. A uh, very celebrated number in math. Interesting. So this is one of the more interesting numbers in math. Um, it's usually depicted as 3.14. It's a continuing number, so it's actually 3.14159, on and on and on, and never ends. Usually depicted as 3.14. Pi. A real interesting thing about pi is that any circle you have, no matter the size of the circle, the diameter is the length across the circle. The circumference is the length around the circle. If you take this length around the circle and divide it by the diameter, no matter the size of the circle, the answer is always pi, 3.14. No matter the, the whole earth, you take the circumference and the diameter, the answer is 3.14. And if you take this small circle that I drew here and you take the circumference and the diameter and divided by the diameter guys the answer is 3.14 interesting number great teaching power hour today i hope you guys are doing well i can't wait to see you we all miss you 
And uh, we will meet up again, Boys and Girls Club.